so special. Why have some people suddenly turned against SPF? Influencers and sunscreen skeptics are claiming that rather than protecting your health, sunscreen is actually damaging it. Stop wearing sunscreen. So where have these ideas come from and is there any truth behind them? First off, it's worth understanding how sunscreen works. When high energy UV rays hit our skin, they actually degrade the collagen and elastin inside it. That's what causes the look of premature aging and wrinkles. Now, sun sunscreen contains ingredients that absorb UV rays, reducing how much reaches the skin. They're called UV filters. The main concerns centre around UV filters you'd find in typical ones you'd pick up in any supermarket. They're known as benzophenones and there's one in particular called oxybenzone. These are endocrine disruptors, which just means that they interact with the body's hormonal system, sometimes by mimicking natural hormones. You can find benzophenones in plenty of other things as well. Well, studies have looked at benzophenones in urine and found that higher levels were linked to effects on sperm and couples taking longer to get pregnant. One really key study done by the US Food and Drug Administration back in 2019 got people to put on a lot of sun cream and they discovered that some of these UV filters will go through the skin and get into your bloodstream at levels the FDA would recommend further toxicity testing. But, and this is important. Participants in this study were slathering on probably about 10 times more than you would normally put on. The researchers stressed that their results shouldn't stop anyone from using sunscreen. While they found small amounts of the chemical in the participants' blood, there's no evidence they were causing any harm. But to keep the risk of any harm very very low regulatory bodies around the world are asking manufacturers for more information about the compounds in sunscreens and the uk is reducing the maximum concentration of oxybenzone allowed in full body sunscreens what about the other claims that you might hear online that sunscreen will stop you making enough vitamin d according to experts there's no evidence for that either same for sunscreen giving you cancer there's zero evidence for that one on the other hand one in three cancers is skin cancer and the main driver of that is uv rays so ultimately there are some potential unquantified risks and some very clear well-known significant benefits to wearing sun cream the key thing is not to get burned. You can also cover up with clothes, a hat, sunglasses, or stay in the shade. So enjoy the sun, but look after your skin.